Hello and a warm welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. And our live game is Girona against Hetafe. This is Peter Drury and I'm happy to inform you that Jim Beglin has joined me to offer his expertise. Hi Peter, it's great to be here. We can have a look at them now. There's the whistle. Romeu. been intercepted and that will come to nothing well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there yeah and it was a case of, of good awareness too that wasn't quite matched by the, the right way to pass it only needed just a little bit more behind it and he was through Good challenge, he just stood firm, goes long and forward, and that'll go straight through to the keeper. It's not the game we were hoping for, Peter. I think both of these keepers could text about their respective uninvolvement. It's the channel, and the defence can get it clear. Romeo looks to slip it through. Stuani heads it! Went with his head but couldn't steer it in. Right in front of goal like that, and he's gone and missed it. I won't have to tell him that's not good enough. Pumps it upfield. Oh, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Tries a through ball. Now the pass. Shoots! Oh, he did the hard part right, but fluffed the finish. I think there's always that danger that the defence can get exploited in that way. That must have served as a real wake-up call to them. Aimed long and direct. Looks to thread it through. Stuani. And that's a goal kick. And he's shown him a clean pair of heels. He's got away with one there. I love to see a team closing down from the front like that, and I think they did brilliant to win it back and get the shot away. And it's half-time here. The midway point of the game. Girona ended that first half in such a strong fashion. I think we'll just have to wait and see now if they can rekindle that drive and that determination. It's been great commitment, and that has to be maintained in the second half. Interesting half, just missing goals. So don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil-nil. Girona clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. Passes it through. Gets into some space. 
Played out to the wing. Spoon forward. Well, they are working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, that's that's true. And is that how you're seeing it? Yeah, I, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's uh, It's where the room is. Now it's Tuani. Looks like a good ball through. Away from immediate danger. There's going to be a change here. There's a man waiting to come on. Well, no doubt someone is being given special treatment here. Well, they know he... They've done it! And that is the goal we've all been yearning for. Perfect placement. The one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things. Just put your foot through it and that was a good example. Great contact and the keeper had very little chance. Girona draw first blood here. Look, you can't deny that it's a blow, but this game is far from unsalvageable. Goes wide. Loose ball, who's going to get there? Pumps it forwards. Thrust towards the front line. Tuani tries to stroke it through. So they got the only goal to give them a 1 0 lead. Still just that single goal and we are nearly done. Played out to the right. Now here's the through ball. Can he put it away? In it goes. And surely that clinches it. There really is no way back now. Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with and to find it I think it was a fine drive and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance Petafe chosen to bring on the last of their substitutes well for me this was the obvious substitution he'd become just a little jaded and as a result of that he was most likely to make a mistake I think sometimes when the body becomes tired the brain goes with it and I think that's happened in this case Girona could not have picked a better time to snatch a two-goal lead is there still time for a response tries lifting it over Gets it back. Chip through. And he's kept it out. And he's there to make a great save. Oh, he made that look really easy, Peter. But I can assure you that wasn't a, a routine save. He had to be very switched on there. And 
that is the last effort of the game. Girona have won it. As much industry as inspiration. Whatever the formula, it has worked for them. But what are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Well, if you can find a weakness, Peter, then it's a case of eggs.